Hey guys, what up? In this video, I want to show you how to create a local server, just a simple server in Python 3.5, which is the newest version of Python as of time at the time of this video. Um, it has the availability of uh, a sync and a wait, so, so allowing allowing some concurrent based uh, programming. Although Python's not um, multi-threaded in the sense that it has um, a, a thread lock for everything it does. Um, it, it can still make Python a lot quicker so we're gonna look at that and uh, we're gonna look at the socket library which is a uh, bare-bones component of the Python language that's been around um, since you know, way earlier versions of Python um, but it, it gets real low to the level of where you can actually tell Python which uh, port to listen on and a browser can travel to that port and in this particular example we'll just end up displaying back a string Alright guys, so the first things first, you don't have to actually install anything, uh, assuming you have Python 3.5 installed, um, or any Python version, um, but this is going to be sp specific to Python 3.5 because if you try to do this in an earlier version of Python, it's not going to work the same way. We're going to create two variables here, our host and our port. The host is just going to be uh, blank, which is going to be localhost, and the port is going to be listening to on uh, 8888. And make sure you don't have anything listening on that port. You most likely don't, but just in case you do, it's not going to work. And um, what we want to do is go ahead and create a variable called listen socket, and then we're going to use the socket library that we just brought in, and then we're going to call the socket method, and then type socket dot af. So there's several options to choose from, but what we're looking for is AF, INET, and you're probably wondering what that is, and it's um, difficult to explain. So I'll let do, uh, Google do that for us. But address format, internet, uh, basically it's a standard for being able to read uh, IPv4 domain names. So in short, that's what we, what we know, and it's part of the um, socket library that comes with Python 3.5 out of the box here, so you can read more about it on uh, the official documentation. But you can see like it gives an example of IPv4. Um, the internet has a newer standard which is IPv6 um, which will allow us to have, because they're basically running out of uh, domain addresses at uh, the IPv4, so they've added a few extra slots, but it, it actually um, allows so many different IP addresses. I think there's more, uh, it w there would be less atoms on the earth um, than the amount of IPv6 addresses that are going to be uh, um, available, which is the new internet standard. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, what we're using here inside our um, socket connection. And then we're going to um, go ahead and call socket, socket stream. Now if we want to actually look more into this socket and socket stream, I can actually hit F12 and it, it visits the page because since I'm using uh, an editor that will automatically uh, default to that. But you can see there's a lot of work going on in just building a socket and listening to bytes and things like that. So uh, this stuff is, is certainly complex. It's very low level too. So if you ever wanted to get into like how do I actually build a, a state-of-the-art web server uh, in Python, this is definitely you know where to start getting into the lower level internals. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and actually create the socket that we're going to be listening on. So we're saying socket, um, and we're going to say set sock opt, and then here we're going to say socket dot sol underscore socket, and then socket dot so reusable address, and then we're going to pass in the integer one. Now let's go ahead and bind it. So we'll say listen socket dot bind, and then we're going to pass in our host and port that we specified, and that could be any port number that you want. And now we'll say listen socket dot listen, and then we're going to pass in the int one. And here we're going to use uh, the new 3.5 uh, print syntax and. Python, so we'll just say listening on port uh, 
and then we'll just uh, reference the port variable. All right, now to keep it keep the program running forever, we're going to do a while true statement so that way the server continues to listen for statements. And then we'll go ahead and say client connection. And then we'll define also a, a client address. We'll say equals listen socket dot accept. So we're allowing um, the call to go through. Request equals client connection dot receive. And then we're going to receive uh, um, 1024 bytes at a time. So we're actually setting how much bytes we'll receive on our uh, incoming request. And then we're going to print out the request. Now let's go ahead and um, give our response that we're gonna we're gonna give out. So while we're still in the same true statement, what we want to say is um, HTTP response equals. Uh, we'll just do hello world. This is a custom server on Python three point five. All right, and then finally, let's go ahead and say client connection dot send all. And then th this is where we have to um, send all is a new thing in uh, Python 3.5 where it actually needs a bytes um, parameter. So I need to actually take our string response here and turn it to byte code. And I do that just by using the built in bytes and pass in an argument, which is the HTTP response. But then I also need to encode that uh, into UTF-8 because it will expect some sort of encoding. So we'll encode that to UTF-8. And we need one more parenthesis there. And then now we can just simply say client connection dot close so that we're not using up all of our resources. So the bottom line is we created a socket to listen to. We use the socket protocol that internet IPv4 addresses are using, um, that very complicated low-level stuff. Um, and then we have just a simple print statement that's going to fire up as soon as we start running the program. We're going to have an endless loop that tells the program to run forever. Since it's a server, we want always listening. And it's going to listen for any sort of requ uh, requests that are coming in. It's going to take in any sort of requests um, a thousand bytes at a time. And then it's going to uh, print the request, and then we're going to give a standard response that we give back to every single request. But then we have to be able to use the client connection to actually send the response back as a byte. And then um, we pass into the byte the actual string that we're trying to, uh, to deliver. But we also have to encode that, give it a specific encoding to UTF-8. And that could be ASCII as well or, or something else. Um, uh, Unicode if you wanted or something, but um, UTF-8 is a pretty good standard. And then we just simply say, okay, that request has been done. Let's go ahead and close that. So let's go ahead and um, run the program here. Hmm. Uh, okay, um, so bind actually takes on a tuple. So what we want to do is actually put an extra parenthesis around, around this because we can see if uh, we go into, let's see. Yeah, it definitely needs to be a tuple. All right, let's go ahead and try it again. All right, so now you can see that it's listing on port uh, 888. So if we go ahead and we pull up a browser, and we just go to our local host address, which is 127, and then change the port to uh, 8888, we're going to get the Hello World. This is a custom server on Python 3.5. Now what you're also getting is you're getting the low level um, information that we're printing out here. So we're actually printing out the request that came in and that's where we were reading it uh, a thousand bytes at a time. And you can see that the actual program has access to all kinds of different things like the user agent that was requested, um, 
wonder what else it has in here. I need to make this damn thing bigger. But anyway, um, you can see that it has uh, cool information. I was hoping that it has the IP address. But anyway, guys, um, that's what that's what we're gonna end this tutorial here. That's how we set up a quick and low-level Python server using Python 3.5. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.